Star Wars fans are thrilled that Jason Syndulla might walk the path of the Jedi, but the latest Ahsoka episodes suggest that things could be about to get very dark very quickly. Ahsoka Tano is in a pickle. After being thoroughly defeated by Balin Skull in the previous episode, she spends a majority of Ahsoka's fifth part trapped in the Force limbo known as the World Between Worlds. Her experience there involves multiple flashbacks to the war-torn days of her youth, as well as a ghostly vision of her old master, Anakin Skywalker, who uses some characteristically aggressive methods to complete his former Padawan's training. Back in the physical world, Ahsoka's allies struggle to track her down, and once again, strange force antics end up saving the day. Harris and Duelist's son Jason use an impressive, clearly force-enhanced listening skill to get an idea of Ahsoka's whereabouts, as he hears snippets of her experience in the world between worlds. Don't you hear it? Known as Theron Force Listening, this ability allows Force users to hear things from great distances. This power also has other handy applications, such as allowing the user to understand other languages. While not exactly common in the live-action Star Wars universe, many prominent Jedi characters have mastered the trick in various Legends works. The show's choice to give Jason Theron Force Listening abilities is particularly interesting, as the skill is closely associated with a similarly named character from an extremely dead corner of the Star Wars lore, Jason Solo, the son of Han Solo and Leia Organa. In many ways, Jason Solo is a scarier Star Wars villain than Darth Vader. A prominent character in non-canon Star Wars novels, he starts out as a perfectly capable Force-sensitive kid, who eventually becomes a powerful and respected hero. Unfortunately, the plot of the books puts him through the kind of ringer that would make his live-action successor Kylo Ren run for the hills. Jason's path ultimately takes an unfortunate turn, and unlike Kylo, he goes all in on the dark side. As the Sith Lord Darth Cadus, Jason becomes something of a tragic villain, but also a true terror who, among other things, kills Luke Skywalker's wife, Mara Jade. Any Legends fan will tell you that Darth Cadus is one of the most overpowered antagonists in the entire franchise, with a laundry list of Force superpowers that put him almost on par with Luke himself. He's also notorious for picking up some of the stranger Force skills out there, including, of course, their and Force listening. Since the live-action Star Wars universe has pretty much overwritten Jason by establishing Kylo Ren as Han and Leia's only son, it's highly unlikely that he'll become canon anytime soon. Nevertheless, fans will have noticed that Ahsoka chose to give one of his most famous Force abilities to a kid with the same name, and might see it as a red flag for Syndulla's future. So what could go wrong? Well, as Kanan Jarrus' son, Jason has the potential to be a truly powerful Force user. The fact that he's able to use a rare and obscure Jedi skill like Theron Force listening with no training suggests a natural affinity with the Force, and the fact that he's able to hear what's going on in the world between worlds might hint at a level of power approaching that of Jason Solo. Since Jason is effectively out of the canon picture and the younger Jason's story is largely unwritten, could the fact that he has access to a similar Force ability be an ominous hint that he's destined to follow a similar path? It's hard to say for sure, but Ahsoka fans will want to keep an eye on the young Syndulla as the series draws on.